way. Y'all, another lit video, and as you can see by the title, you already know what we about to get into. So your boy was just about to do his little nighttime routine or whatever, right? So I was like, I might as well record it for my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Record it for my YouTube family, so y'all can see how your boy do his nighttime routine. Now it's kind of similar to my morning routine. So if you see my morning routine already, my little dead life thing, go watch that. By the way, if you're seeing that, then you gonna kind of see some of the same stuff, just a little. A, a little twinkle twinkle of a little bit different stuff but yeah um i do too much talking i'm gonna go ahead and get straight to this routine now first thing first what i do is i brush my chompers get your toothbrush get your toothpaste that's almost gone matter of fact i'm gonna use this one but they both almost gone. I just need toothpaste, as you can see. but um i'm gonna use this wait no yeah i'm gonna use this one i'm gonna use this one Get your toothbrush, get your toothbrush. If you don't brush your teeth at night, your breath stank. You take your toothbrush, you get it wet, and you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth, this is okay? No breath, no, mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna speed this part up either. I'm gonna show y'all how it's done. I learned this from my man um, teaching men's fashion. I watched like a lot of his videos. And what he say is, once you done brush your teeth, you should exfoliate your lips with the two bristles. Like take my brush and do like this. It feels mad weird, but it kind of be working though. Low key, like I'm cricket. And I just brush my lips. So now my lips look extra juicy for your girl to kiss. Period. 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 Nothing left to say like period. 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 Yeah. period. Alright, okay. Now sometimes normally I brush a little bit longer than that. Just anybody want to comment for me funny? You ain't even brushing that long. You ain't even brushing that long. I ain't trying to brush y'all night for y'all, alright? Cool. Now, next thing I do is take your mouth for it with your stank breath. And put it in your mouth. Mouth rinse, put it in your mouth. Okay? So, take your Listerine. I like to use Listerine. You know what I'm saying? I hate using press for the first time last week. I hated it. It was like, I hated it. It was, I just hated it. Yeah. Oh. And now your breath just got that, oh that, that fresh, fresh minty feel to it, you know what I mean? So now you got your tempestis all clean. Next thing I do is, I'm doing my little exfoliate of the face. So I take from, um, this is from Mix Easy. Um, shout out to my boy Poppy Q. Put me on. It's mixed easy. All natural ingredients, so they say. So that's why I bought it, because I got a bunch of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, let me show y'all. Like, I got Clearasil, I got uh Cetaphil, I got um what is Clean and Clear, I got um 
free mats. Uh, basically what I'm saying is don't none of these work. Cause you see, I, I got so many. None of them work. I still got blackheads. This don't even hardly work. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying different stuff. Trying to see what works for my skin. I have really bad skin. Um, shout out to my mother. But I have really, really bad skin. So, you know, I hope this stuff works. If it doesn't work, it'll be added to the collection of everything else. Damp my face, you know. Get my shorts. Okay. I really don't mess with my forehead too much because um, when when this if this gets like on my eyebrows, it kind of my eyebrows kind of like burn. So I don't really mess with the forehead. I just do like this this side. The for my forehead's not where my black heads are at anyway, so, you know. Yeah. I'm just, just gonna rip my hands off. Then I take my little sponge. I got this from Amazon, if you're wondering. Um, got this from Amazon, pay for like $5 or something for it, you know, nothing too, nothing too crazy, you know. That's so all you just get this scrub, you know what I'm saying? Scrub it up, dub it, tub it, tub it, tub You just get this scrub, and scrub, and make sure you get it good. Let me look at this mirror, make sure I'm getting the right spot. Scrub it up, dub it, scrub it up, dub it, dub it. Um, I'm gonna get it nice and good in there. Usually I let mine sit for like a good two, three, not two, three minutes. Maybe like a minute and 30 to two minutes. I'll let it sip a little bit. But since I'm doing this video, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it right off. Cause you know, I ain't trying to be here all night. You really, I ain't trying to be here all night, but y'all, you know what I mean? So I'm just scrubbing it in a little bit and then I'm gonna rinse it off. And yes, I said rinse. Preferably you wanna use lukewarm water cause they say um, hot, hot water is not really good for your face when it, when it comes to like exfoliating. So you wanna use like, I'm trying to use like hot water, use like warm, warm-ish water, you know? <sighs> now that we have our face all exfoliated, last thing we do for the nighttime routine is cleaning our nose piercing. Yes. I got my cup right here. I got my Q-tip. Um, this is hot water and sea salt. That's why I use hot water and sea salt. If you ever wondering if you ever if you got nose piercing out there, you get a keloid, a bump, a scratch, anything. Sea salt and hot water does the trick. You don't need none of that other stuff they tell you to go buy. If the nose piercing dude go tell you to buy uh Bactin or or whatever they say go buy, don't buy it. Just get go get you some sea salt and some water, it does the trick. And please. Don't put alcohol on your thing either, like I did. I'm an idiot. I put alcohol on it and it got bigger. You feel me? And it was just not, it was not pretty. So we're gonna take a Q-tip, dip it in the water, and we're just gonna dab it on the piercing, you know? Just dab it on the piercing. Let me look at the mirror, make sure I'm dabbing right. Yeah, just dab it on the piercing. Uh-huh. And then if you have a keloid, it might bleed. Or if you got a little bit of bump, even if you don't got a bump, it still might bleed just because if you haven't cleaned it in a long time, I recommend you clean your stuff. I clean my nose I like every other night. Um, try to keep it clean. The cleaner you keep it, um, the less it'll get infected, of course. And then I take the other side, I dip the other side in there, clean it again, you know. You know, just, just get in there, dude. Just get in there. And so that's gonna wrap up the nighttime routine. Yes, I do not need to do a lot. I don't need to do nothing with my hair. It's it's nappy and raggy and whatever, whatever. Um, and I already took. I'm, most of the time, I take my showers in the morning. Like now, I take my showers more like in the morning, afternoon time. I used to take them at night, but it's kind of it's kind of changed. I don't know why. It's kind of changed to like morning, nighttime, or whatever. But yeah. So. That's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I got some new bangers coming on the way. 
Um, we got some public interviews coming next week. Yeah, I'm blase blase. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Hit that bell. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next lit video. Bye. Have a great time. <laughs>